Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 314 doing August 2016 speculation and investment. We've got a lot of reprints and a lot of cards currently in modern will have a long-term effect on the market. I'm going to be talking about those and especially focusing on the cards that were in Conspiracy. Before we go too far though, I definitely want people to check out the TCG Player buy list. They are not a sponsor of the program, but I talk to them out at Gen Con a lot and I'll have a summary of that interview coming up here soon. But basically anyone can sign up to be a shop to buy list things as long as they've got a checking account number and they can pay for those things. It's really gonna impact the market in a very different way. It could end up cutting some of the margins out of card resale and it's an interesting way to buy things you can limit the number you want to buy and the particular grading of those cards starting with reserve list cards time spiral is starting to go up a little bit but it is a long-term edh all-star it sees a little bit of edge play and serenity in legacy and it's just a cool card the type of effect we're not likely to see again a free time twister and mox diamond has been going up but it could go up a lot higher it is a staple in some legacy decks and it is a solid edh card it's also a fan favorite because it's got the name mox in it and it's the most accessible reserve list mox for individuals to pick up legacy cards here we haven't had a lot of huge legacy tournaments going on, but there's still a lot of things to look at. Number one is reprints. Anything that was in Eternal Masters or in Modern Masters 2, now is the time to start picking those up because they bottled out in price. Gamble is a very solid pickup at $8 or $45 for foil. Eldrazi Temples. These are incredible eldrazi is a solid deck in legacy you can build it without city of traders although city of traders as a one or a two of is a solid addition to that deck but without that it's a very cheap very competitive tier one deck i would definitely pick these up now and build your eldrazi decks in legacy this is one of several different eldrazi decks out there it plays very fair, or at least as fair as Eldrazi get. And it's the Thought Not Seer, the Endless One, the combination of all of these cards together with Cavern of Souls to help beat Miracles that does so much for this deck. Another archetype to look at seriously, although it's already started to spike, is Dredge. We saw a Landless Dredge over at the SCG take second. There's a solid Dredge deck in Modern. Dredge is really powerful right now. If you don't already have the staples for this deck, I would definitely buy them. They could go up over the next few months until we see another Modern Masters reprinting that has some of these cards in it. And these were also recently reprinted, so they may not even make it into the next Modern Masters. For standard cards, we've got some exciting things going on here. What is really important is to figure out what is hot because it's standard playable only, which is Kozilek's Return, and what is hot and will have value after it rotates, like Collected Company. The Collected Company decks right now sell off almost everything in the deck except for the Collected Companies. The Collected Companies have long-term staying power in Modern. Also, look at some of those edge cards out there that are really high priced that could see a reprint next summer. Things like Graft Digger's Cage. This is a card that shuts down some of those graveyard strategies. It's a prime target for a reprint. At $12 for a sideboard card, I would consider selling this right now. Before it does, what some other cards have done recently with reprints is just crash. Other modern cards to look at, and these are two that I strongly agree with Chase Anders from Star City Games on, is become immense because we've just seen some delve mechanics, so we're probably not going to see it for a while, and it's a great card in Modern. And Eldrazi Displacer is just a powerhouse. The more I play this card, the more I like this card. It's super cheap, it's in standard right now, it's modern playable, it's eternal playable. Death Shadow is slightly hot right now, and maybe one of the most broken cards in Modern currently. And then Mox Opal, it's a mythic two printings 
people love this card. Before this last reprint, it was double that value. People love things that say Mox, and this is really, really strong. I would definitely pick up your playset now while they're down around 35. Thought Not Sears, crazy cheap right now. $5 for regulars and $20 for foils. These are playable in every single format across the board. Similarly, Reality Smashers, the foils are really cheap. They win the mirror match. They are not as important in some decks, but in others, they are really, really good. I would pick up the foils at $10 easily, and it doesn't hurt to pick up a few of the regulars at $3 a piece. This is a good time to transition in to the reprints from Take the Crown. Inquisition of Kozilek is a powerhouse. It is the new Thoughtseize. It is being played more than Thoughtseize, and it's been rare shifted up. So it's been shifted to rare for an uncommon. I don't think we'll ever see it as an uncommon again. I can see it doubling in price long term. Ghostly Prison, down to $4 right now. One of the best ways to beat the Eldrazi decks. Pick them up currently. Avoid Birds of Paradise and Burning Wish. They're still dropping. Fan favorites, great cards, three to six months from now, definitely pick them up. But right now they're crashing. Burgeoning, powerful, fun EDH card. Foils are easily moving at the $20 to $30 range. I would hold on to them, although I wouldn't invest too heavily. But I would also pick up the regulars at three to five bucks. They are super, super useful in EDH. Serum Visions, another card that's been shifted up, up to uncommon. Pick up your playsets now. You don't want to be left without these. They're the best cantrip in modern. Berserk, $25. The market has dropped this so low, this is a card you want to get now. If you're playing Spiky EDH, if you're playing Infect in Legacy, this is one of those over-the-top cards that is just wonderful to have in those decks. Show and Tell is down to $30. This is going to start to appear in more people's EDH decks, and it has a solid future in Legacy. Very reasonable price to pick up right now. New cards, I would avoid almost all the new cards in Conspiracy, except for these three, and I would make sure that you get them at this lower price point. Recruiter of the Guard, probably gonna be around $15 as its low point. If it doesn't see any Legacy play in the next month, it could drop even lower but I'm expecting that it'll see some legacy play. Dreddy is dropping, and it's going to be a really fun card long term. It's currently at about 10. I'd wait for it to drop to about 7. And Sanctum Prelate is dropping pretty quickly. I'm going to be buying a playset if it hits 15. It's at about 20 currently. To scry into the future of Magic Finance, subscribe to the channel. For more videos and higher quality videos, become a patron and help me create more cool content. For $1, you get my eternal thanks. Also, I'm gonna be out at PAX this weekend. Uh, please say hi to me if you see me out at PAX. I will have some decks and we'll be playing pickup games and hanging out in the Magic area. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon making the channel possible. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.